Welcome back friends to Vincent GD Super Channel G and look at all of these amazing Marvel mini mates we got here. Almost all of them are from the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There are some from the animated series and so uh, let's take a great look at this. And so several of you asked me what are mini mates and I know they don't sell mini mates just anywhere but these are mini mates. We're going to take a closer look. So guys if you have not already subscribed to our channel Please subscribe below, hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below and yeah, why don't we go ahead and get started, right? Share this video with anyone and everyone and let's get started right now. So nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Mm. Super Channel G. All right, friends, so let's go ahead and get started. And I can't tell you how excited I am to go over um, these mini mates that are in this box. We have so many. These are just the ones we haven't put away and I'm sorry I've been so lazy about it. But these are probably the most recent reviews. Um, not every single one of them. So if you're wondering what mini mates are, they typically come in a package like this. And they're not all Marvel obviously, but this box is. So they have mini mates for just about anything you can think of. And look how cool these look. They look absolutely outstanding. And so obviously these are from Avengers Assemble, um, the animated series, right? And so those look super cool. Here's some of the pieces we left over from the Avengers Endgame ones that we had from the Walgreens exclusives. And here's one we still haven't done. And this is, you know, Spider-Man and Iron Fist here. Another Walgreens exclusive. So clearly you can definitely get mini mates at Walgreens. That doesn't mean you can get all the mini mates at Walgreens, but you can definitely get some. And then of course the comic book shops. So let's see who's in this box right here that we haven't put away. And that way you can see just how amazing they are. So they're not quite Legos because they're not building blocks. Just letting you know, they may be kind of squared off, but they're not Lego. And you know, they're kind of a mix in between Lego and um, uh, Lego minifigs and I guess like mega constructs, but they're all their own thing and they don't have actual like block sets that they build off of. So let's get started with, uh, who do we want to get started with? And you know, because they're loose in here, sometimes their pieces fall off and so that's what I'm trying to avoid and why we need to put it away. So let's get started with somebody big. Why don't we get started with this Thanos right here, right? Look how incredible this Thanos looks. So this is from obviously Avengers Endgame. He also wore this outfit in um, the beginning of Infinity War. but. He did not have this in Infinity War, right? This Infinity Blade. And so, if you're not familiar with Mini Mates, you know, you can swap their parts out. So here's Thanos when he takes off his helmet. The accessories are usually outstanding. The paint jobs are usually sick. And so all of it is just incredibly amazing. So let me show you. So you can articulate by bending forward and back. And this is tons more articulation than you can get on, for example, a Lego minifig. And so this is also really cool to have in like a stop motion scene since Lego did not make um, Thanos like this. They made, you know, that, that big bulky one. So when it's a big figure like this, if you're not used to it, these parts, they do come off. Look at that. And then um, the arms, the hands, they usually slide on. See, right here. So on these bigger figures, but just to give you an idea. And this set did come with a, an Infinity Gauntlet, but it did not come with a Stark Gauntlet. It came with um, the Infinity Gauntlet. And since that never really happened in the movie, I didn't put it on him, but it's definitely interchangeable. But anyway, look how great this figure looks. We're going to move on and see how many we have on here. And before I go any further, why don't you comment below how many of these Mini Mates you think are in this box. There's a ton. Because I can see right here we have Avengers Endgame, the Avengers Infinity War. Um, we also have uh, this is Captain Marvel. We have some Black Panther. Uh, we have Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Or um, yeah, 
And we also have, uh, you know, some of the Spider-Man the animated series and Civil War and so on. And so um, we'll keep going. So here's the Stanos. Doesn't the Stanos look amazing? So absolutely great. So they do not have two faces like you've seen, like for example, with a with maybe a Lego minifig. But that's the last I'm going to compare them. So what's really cool is that typically you can lift the legs like they bend at the knee, and then you can also like have them go in and out and back and forth. And same thing with the arms. These bigger, bulkier figures, they're a lot more restricted in their movement. They typically can move at the waist too. See. So anyway, we'll set this Thanos aside and just, just tell him he looks absolutely amazing. So, let's take a look at this um, Captain America. Look at this amazing looking Captain America. His helmet comes off. And when their helmets come off, typically that means that there's a, a hair piece that you can put on here. Now, it may have fallen off, it may be in here somewhere, I don't know. But we do have a lot of loose um, figure parts in here, and that's why I definitely want to put them back up in, in their box so that they're just not floating around. But nonetheless, I'll give you an example. This is the what was left over from this Avengers Endgame set, and this had this Captain America head and um, helmet, and then of course this hair that you can replace for the helmet. And so this one, for example, we can just put this on here and they just paint the ears on there. You see that? So isn't that awesome? Look at that really cool face. So I'm gonna pull that off. I'm gonna put this back over here. So that was just so you could see what that looked like. And take, take a look at this. We put this helmet, it's even got this chin strap. Sorry, I didn't mean for us to go out of focus here. There we go. So look at this amazing detail. See, so it turns at the waist here. They move, look, it's on this ball joint all around. Look at that and they articulate in and out. They bend right here at the elbow. The wrists even turn, look at that. You just gotta support it, see? And then you have all these just super amazing accessories. Look at that. This goes on right here. Then you can put it right here. Look at that. And boom, look at that amazing Captain America. Tell me that's not absolutely amazing. Look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? Looks absolutely amazing. And each one of these mini mates comes with um, this stand. You see a lot of these little plates right here because it, it fits right here. And the, oh, that was something else is that their, um, their ankle moves as well. Look at that. So knees, hips, waist, shoulders, elbows, wrists, neck, head. Look at that. Just amazing, amazing, amazing articulation. All right, so we'll set him aside. That's already two, so you keep in count. Or did you already guess? So let's take a look at this amazing Captain Marvel. Look at this. And this Captain Marvel is so great. Look at the beautiful paint job. Look at that. And so look at this wonderful articulation like we talked about. See, the ankles move, the legs. And so you can get such great articulation. The only thing these don't do is the head doesn't go very far back and down, but that's about it. Because otherwise, they go so awesome. Look at that. We can actually have her like looking at this and getting a really fierce stance. Look at that. It's absolutely amazing. And the paint job, I can't get over how beautiful the paints and colors are. It's absolutely amazing. So look, this one came with this helmet. I think this white is a little off because I don't think it's supposed to be that far that way. But what you can do is just, you basically do a lot of twisting. Twist and pry, and watch this. Some of that doesn't look absolutely outstanding. Look at that. Looks wonderful. So I'm gonna just put that back. Look at this wonderful face that they did right here for Captain Marvel. And this is from the movie, obviously, because she had the longer hair. But this Captain Marvel looks outstanding. And figures that fly usually come with this piece to where you can put that there on their foot and then you can show them fly and look. Whoosh, and they can stand up higher than everyone else. So you can basically put this however you want to show the swoosh. And it's just another way to display. And they end up coming with this and this. So you can just have them standing there too. Um, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if this specific Captain Marvel comes with like these binary powers or not but obviously they're interchangeable. So you can Remember when her and Thanos were fighting over the gauntlet and Thanos went 
<laughs> he's trying to hit butter <laughs> and she just took it and <laughs> so absolutely outstanding all right so that's three look at this star force captain uh did i call it captain america or captain marvel because i made captain marvel so look at this wonderful star force now her same thing look we can swap out these helmets we can swap out this hair and that's what's really cool about these figures look at that and that looks absolutely outstanding with this beautiful paint job isn't that amazing it's absolutely wonderful same articulation on all of these figures because they're the exact same build but um sometimes like a marvel legends figure these will be looser than you would like but right now these are all just great 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 um joints right here look at that that looks absolutely outstanding i'm gonna put this hair back on this captain marvel and then we're gonna put this helmet back on our star force captain marvel and doesn't that look outstanding look at the difference in these um helmet sculpts it's subtle but look at that look at that beautiful paint job so that's outstanding all right let's move on and let's do somebody awesome again now first of all let's see um, before I do that, look what I found. For those of you who do a little bit of fan service right here, look at this. Whoa! <laughs> Isn't this awesome? All we gotta do is put that in there. And yeah, buddy. All we need to do is break this shield and make it look, look how outstanding that is. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Oop! Here went his wrist. <laughs> Alright, oh, there went Mjolnir. Anyway, so you get the point. Didn't that look amazing while it lasted before Mjolnir like ran away? Good. <laughs> Don't know where, where uh, the hammer went. But whatever, we'll find it in a second. So we're just throwing that out there. We'll come back to that. So look at this. We have Nick Fury. And Nick Fury, I think, came with a gun. But um, this is so awesome. What's really awesome about this Nick Fury, I'll tell you. Like it definitely has that resemblance for Samuel L. Jackson. It's got this tie, it's got this suit. Well, this jacket is removable, and it's removable, right? But he still have black sleeves. Well, it came with, and I don't know if they're in here. Oh, here's the hammer. Um, I don't think it's in here. It's probably still in the box, but it came with um, sleeves, so you can just pop this off and put the white sleeves on there so that you can have both looks. And that's what I'm talking about as far as how amazing these are because you can really customize them down to that. Look at that. Look at these beautiful shiny shoes. Look at these slacks. And definitely these one, look at that belt. There's always such beautiful paint jobs on these bad boys. So we're gonna put this right back here. You know, and um, you know, you could take the head off, leave the head on when you do all this. So just throwing that out there. There's multiple ways to do this. So uh, there we go, put that back on there. And then of course, it looks like does Samuel Jackson's hair come off? Nick Fury? I'm not 100% sure. It might be glued on. This one might be glued on. But um, otherwise, isn't that amazing? And I think he came with guns. Or at least a gun. Not sure. But we'll come across that because it looks like all the accessories have settled to the bottom. But isn't that awesome? All right. Let's take a look at that. So, so far, that's five characters. So we'll speed up a little bit. That way we can get through all this. Anyway, look at this Infinity War Hulk. So this is supposed to be like the very beginning of Infinity War and he came in Infinity War sets. And look at those big bulging back muscles. And so if you'll notice, this is what they do with the bigger figs. They put these sleeve on their, on where they would have just a normal small hand, see that? And they do the same thing for the feet and they end up making them taller that way. So it's really cool. And then of course, look, his hair comes off and we could, we could interchange and we that's what's really cool about these is look at that so anyway we're obviously not going to want that on there but doesn't that look outstanding look at this wonderful looking hulk the colors are amazing the sculpts are uh well i guess the sculpts are about the same but uh and the detail is what i meant to say look at that he even has chest hair so that looks absolutely outstanding look at that and he comes with a stand too but his feet are so big he doesn't need a stand so this might restrict the movement a little bit, but doesn't it look absolutely amazing? Look at that. Hulk smash, Hulk hate stairs. So that's outstanding, isn't it? Look at that. Okay, 
Let's move on. Let's see what we got here. We have Black Panther. Look at that charged up suit. Look at these claws. Wow. <sighs> Mini mates usually just have the standard round hand. It's like a Pac-Man hand. But this Mini Mate um, of charged up T'Challa Black Panther has his claws out. Look at that. This skin's got claws. And then you can take this helmet off and you can put that hair piece. Hair piece, I don't think it's in here. I think I left all those in the boxes. But um, that's really cool. Look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely awesome? Uh-oh, his foot fell off. This foot's probably at the bottom over here somewhere. Once we come across it, we'll pop it on. But yeah, the feet popping off are very common. So just be mindful of that. So that's something that, um, that's kind of a known issue, unfortunately, for many minutes. Just throwing that out there. That way you, you do come to expect that. So look, there we go. I found the child's other foot, throw it on there. And let's put this Black Panther helmet on. And doesn't that look absolutely outstanding? I think so, it looks great. This is from obviously Black Panther movie, but you can use this for any of them, whether it's uh, Infinity War, Endgame, whatever. It looks absolutely outstanding. Okay, let's move on. So, look at this. We have Miles Morales. And Miles Morales looks absolutely great. Look at that. I think this is from the animated series because it's not the the graffiti spider symbol on the front, but still, it's still Miles Morales. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So he articulates really well. Looks really outstanding. And this one comes with a stand that goes on the middle of his body, so you can just twist that off, put that on there, and that way you can have him turn this and have it, oops, have him kind of like jump into the air. And you can do all sorts of really cool poses like that. That's kind of something that makes this figure unique because he comes with that stand. And then it has, I believe he comes with this, look. So um, this, many of the Spider-Man figures do in Spider-Verse. And so that looks outstanding. Look at that. And you can have him swinging. So this Miles Morales is wonderful. I believe they have one, uh, this one on the box labeled as Kid Arachnid. But he looks absolutely outstanding. The helmet does not come off because that's his head. And so, or mask, whatever. And so, but look how great that looks. And it is a great pivot. Look at that. It's a beautiful figure. All right, cool. We'll move on. And so I have, look at this iron spider. I know you've been waiting for that. But I'm like, hopefully I was able to find the his legs. I'm not seeing them right away, the spider legs. Oh, here, here's one. So, obviously I want to be able to show you what the whole thing looks like and the legs do pop off pretty easily I'll say on this figure. So um where is the other leg? Alright, maybe I'll wait to show you or to find the leg, but nah we'll just go ahead and do it. When we come across the leg we'll take a look at it. Okay, so this iron spider which looks absolutely bonkers. These you just slide in back here, look at that. So oops there it went. That showed you how easy it was to fall out. I'm probably just going to end up gluing these here. Because I don't want them to come out. I just want them to stay. So that goes there. And so look how great this Peter Parker looks. So those go right here. So it's actually an attachment that goes in between the neck and the chest. And in between the midsection and the, and the, um, the hips. So it's got a beautiful paint job. Look at that. Look at those colors. Look at his gloves. Everything. And this... Peter Parker looks absolutely outstanding. I know we have the mask. I just don't know if we have the mask out here if it's in the box. Cause, ooh, look here it is. Not the mask, but the, but the other leg. And so, um, really what I, what I wanna share with you is that, you know, much like you saw here, I'll leave some of the accessories still in the box and put them away so I don't lose them. Cause you can't have him wearing all the accessories. You can't have him showing his face and his hair like this and also the mask out, so just throwing that out there. So these don't really articulate, they just kind of move a little bit and they fall out pretty easily. So I'm just warning you about that in case you buy this set. So um, his arms, his legs, they all articulate really well, but I gotta give my hats off to Diamond Select for the beautiful colors and uh, the detail, look at that. Looks absolutely outstanding, look at that, look at that, look at that. Wow, absolutely outstanding. All right, we'll go ahead and set him over there. Look at that. Okay, so let's move on. This Falcon is like 
falling out to me because it's just so massive. Look at that. This, this one, the wings get put in the back. Obviously, they just pop out. But um, this part goes right here between the neck and the head. And look at this helmet. So I believe he came with a hairpiece too. Because oh no, look, it's painted on on this one. But um, you can take this helmet on and off. And he definitely looks like the animated series Falcon. So isn't that cool? It looks really outstanding. The colors, everything just kind of pops about this one. Look at those gloves. He's got the, the white fingers. And just the whole color usage. And we can pose these wings. And he comes with this type of stand instead of the swoosh. I think I kind of like this one better than the swoosh, honestly. And we can... There we go. Look at that. It's absolutely outstanding. We can pinch that helmet to turn and turn the head. And we can definitely have him swooping around. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Looks absolutely great. Okay, let's move on. So let's see what we got here. Let's pull somebody else out of here. Oh man, there's such great characters in here. Okay, let's do this Ronin. Let's do this Ronin and let's see if we can find his swords. Where are his swords? Do we even have his swords in here or do I even take them out? So there's a chance I may not have his swords in here. If we, oh, here's, here's at least one. And it's a little, probably got settled on because it's super soft, look at that. So I don't remember if he came with two swords or not. But um, I do remember that it wasn't bent like this. So that's one of the unfortunate parts of not putting these up, which I will. It'll settle back. But look how gorgeous this Ronin character looks. So I don't think in the movie they ever actually said Ronin. I think we just understood it's Ronin and then maybe that some of the toys said it. But it never said it in the movie. Look at that. And I don't think it actually really referred to him as Hawkeye. Other than maybe his wife calling him that like once or twice joking. But um, look at this beautiful um, mold right here. And it's outstanding how this can just slide in here. Look at that. We can just fit that right in. Oops. There we go. Slides right on in there. And look at this beautiful, beautiful mold on this. And so it's got great articulation. The colors just pop off. Look at that gold and black. Just so incredibly outstanding. Look at this beautiful character beautiful character just love 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 the way this looks so i wish this came up a little bit look at that but nonetheless i can't blame anybody for that so it looks absolutely outstanding and we're gonna move on okay oh my gosh look at this avengers endgame black widow tell me that doesn't look unbelievably incredible so here's her other um piece of her uh they're her black widow batons look at that boom so this looks absolutely outstanding we have this right here look at that man look her guns right here oh i forgot they come out and she can actually hold those forgot about that look at that there's one on each side you can actually take this out and look at this tell me that doesn't look amazing look at that Wow, so talk about accessories, accessories. So now you're starting to see why I love Mini Mates so much. Because they're unbelievably cool and they're really cool to do stop motion. Especially since they articulate so much more than like Legos per se. But look at this paint and then the paint is just like off the hook all the time. So look there, she has that device for the time travel and just unbelievable. Look, foot's starting to come out. Remember I told you about that? Those do get a quite loose. But look at these holsters in her legs. Just unreal. Unreal. So look at this beautiful face that they put on for her. Look at those eyes. Look at that hair. It's supposed to be that kind of faded out look. And her braid. And looks absolutely gorgeous. So let's move on. Oh, Doctor Strange. Where you been, Doctor Strange? So you can actually swap these hands out. These hands, you can swap them out with uh, ones that don't have... Um, these cast hand, uh, um, spell casting hands, but still these look so great. And all you gotta do is just like kind of twist and pop them off. Look at that. So, oh, and look, there's where he had his surgeries. So, there we go. Before, you know, we don't really talk about that. There's the Eye of Agamotto, but that's really cool. And yeah, 
He's got this man skirt rocking right here, so it restricts his leg movements a little bit, but still, he can still turn the waist, he can turn the head, and his hair you can swap out with someone else. We have the cloak of levitation. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So we can take that off and <sighs> cloaky. You can just put the cloak right back like that. Doesn't that look awesome? I absolutely love this figure. To get his hair, everything. And so I like having the spell casting. Uh oh, this arm's a little looser than I would have liked. You see that? But nonetheless, look at that. And there is little details to make it that spell casting. So that's really awesome. All right, and then look at his um, facial hair. That looks so great. All right, let's move on. And I was like, look at those bushing out eyebrows. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Next, let's do, uh, hmm, what do we got going on here? Look at this Valkyrie right here. This is from Thor Ragnarok. And now that I'm saying that, I'm gonna need to find her weapon. Where is her weapon? Hmm. So, I'm not gonna be 100% sure which ones are hers and which ones are Thor's, right? But I'm pretty confident that this one might be one of hers. Look at that. So if not, we'll just give it to her just because it's that neon type sea green and just looks absolutely outstanding. Look at the, the paint job, the detail. Look at her face war paint. Look at her, her battle hair. Look at this little cape right here. Doesn't that look absolutely outstanding? And look at her little uh, Ravager skirt right here or whatever. So that looks absolutely outstanding. Look at the colors, look at the sculpt. This figure is just unbelievably unreal. I don't remember if this is her sword or not. We're gonna use it for now and then we'll see what we come across because we have so many accessories just kind of gathered out right here. But look at that face. Doesn't that look wonderful? Look at that. Look at her gloves. Just absolutely outstanding. Love, love, love this Valkyrie figure. Now it'd be cool if they made the one with the white outfit, right? But still, this is amazing to have. And you know what? Let's look at a couple more Thor Ragnarok figures. Let's take a look. All right, so let's find our characters from Thor Ragnarok. And wow, look how incredible this looks. So I know he has one, at least one sword right here. And one sword right here. And he looks absolutely bonkers. Now I know you've seen Thor Ragnarok. This is one of our favorite movies from the MCU. Absolutely wonderful. Look at the beautiful paint job on his outfit from Sakaar. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Look at that. Turn it the waist here. That's where this is like torn here. Remember that? Look at that. There we go. Isn't that awesome? Is he a fighter or is he food? Look at that beautiful face. Um, that they put on Thor right here. Still had both of his actual eyes. And man, look at the swords detail. They're super soft, just throwing that out there. So it's easy for them to just pop out of his hands when when they're settling there. But you know, see, you can turn the wrist and he has just such great articulation. Look at that. Just this, sorry to keep going out of focus. Let me make sure that I'm focused on this figure. But wow. Absolutely beautiful sculpt. I keep saying sculpt, sorry. Um, detailed paint job. It's the same sculpt on most of them. But look at the helmet sculpt. Look at the sculpt on the, on the swords. They look beautiful, they look gorgeous, look at that. Okay, set him aside. And let's jump over here to, um, look at the Sakar Loki. He's missing a foot. So let me see if I can find his foot. Real quick, the Alright, I'll come back to that because I want to be able to find his foot. And uh, let's look at this Sakar Planet Hulk. Look how great this Planet Hulk looks. So he's holding these awesome weapons from the Gladiator Arena. And look at that, his helmet does come off. You can put his hair on there. And that looks absolutely outstanding. So look at this wonderful sculpt for this helmet. Look at this wonderful sculpt for these weapons. And look at this um, gladiator shoulder piece right here. Look at the paint job. 
This looks a little bit rushed here, but the rest of the paint just looks unreal. Look at that. Look at his gladiator chunk plus. <laughs> that looks awesome right here, right? And just look at that overall detail. It just looks so great. It's Mohawk. And I know him. He's a friend from work. Look at that. Doesn't that look outstanding? Yeah, buddy. Put that right over here. Okay, so if we don't find our... Here it is. There we go. And look how awesome this Loki looks. I don't remember if he comes with a sword or, I'm sorry, a dagger or something. Maybe he does. But, um, I don't remember. So for now, we'll just give him this little dagger because he's all about little daggers. I am not sure if that comes with, if he comes with that. I don't remember. We have to check his box. But look how cool this looks. He's got this big, long hair. Look at that. Big long hair, looks awesome. And he just goes right here, his little peg right there. And he's got this really cool um, way they did his face. It's probably a little lighter than he should be, but still. Look, he's got that um, really awesome cape. Look at those colors right there. Just really pops out at you. And once again, this is something that just can be, you just slide it off back over here, see? But um, you take the hair off and then you slide that off, like this, see? So anyway. That's how that goes. Let's turn his head so that fits under there again. Let's put his his hair back. And um, you know what? I dropped that little stand. But we're gonna set our stands over here to the side. But look at that! Doesn't that look awesome? The Sakar Loki. It's absolutely amazing. Okay. Let's see who else we got here. Okay, so let's move on to to our Black Panther figures. Ooh. All right. So let me do this Heimdall first, just because I was like I forgot we had Heimdall. And so look, we have his sword. It's like he knew the the dark magic of the All Fathers, the Forefathers. Look at that. Run through him one last time. Look at this beautiful sword. Look at the sculpt on that. And look at his outfit, right? Doesn't that look awesome? What's well, super stiff? This part. Look, it you can move it, but it's super super stiff. So just know just know that some of them have really soft plastic, but not this one. Look at his cool little dreads. Um, uh, ponytail that looks cool and I think we can take it off I think so I'm gonna just twist but it's not wanting to cooperate sometimes they are permanently affixed oh there we go we can definitely put this on someone else if we want but anyway look how great it looks look at his yellow eyes so that way he looks like the movie man that looks outstanding absolutely wonderful look at that look at this beautiful sword that he can have for the Bifrost. Summon the Bifrost and send this Hulk back to Earth. Thanos is coming, right? So, gosh, this figure looks absolutely great. Look at that. And Heimdall's doom, 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 fighting people off. So his arm's kind of restricted down here because it's stuck under here, but you can still take this off if you like. Just throwing that out there. So it's absolutely amazing. Okay, let's move on. Let's see what we have. Black Panther, look at this M'Baku. This M'Baku looks awesome, look at his hair. Isn't that awesome? Just like in the movie. And then he's got this like animal skin armor coat. Doesn't that look awesome? Look at his arms, he's got this, you know, just everything looks so awesome. He's got this club that he was trying to beat um, T'Challa with. And it's an awesome looking figure. Awesome, awesome. Look at his little grass falda. Little grass skirt. <laughs> And man, look at just the detail on this figure. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful detail and paint and so on. So, wow, I'm, I'm digging this M'Baku. But yeah, you can remove all this and he still has, you know, let me show you what that looks like. You can twist, uh, pop the head off, you take this off and look, he still has this. So that's what's really cool is that you can do that and mix and match for all these figures. And a lot of them still have, um, you know, paint application underneath. That's why when I took this off, even though it covers that with this on, they still have that so that you can see it afterwards, after your removal. So that's really cool. Not on all of them, but some of them. So this is from Black Panther. We'll set him aside. And let's look at another one from Black Panther. So this one is really awesome. This is actually, uh, where's his feet? This looks like one piece. 
So this is Ulysses' claw. I'm assuming this is his foot and his other foot. And they feel really loose on there, so. I really like this Ulysses' claw. Look at this awesome, oh my gosh, look at his tattoo. And I didn't realize it's like a lobster claw or something. Look at that. Well, it might be a scorpion, sorry, I don't know. But um, I'd never even noticed that. Isn't that cool? And look how beautiful that artwork is, and it's the first time I'm noticing it. Now, I know he had tattoos, but I didn't pay attention that much. That looks so great. He even got his rolled up sleeves. So look, he's got his vest, he's got his tie, it's still drawn on there. It's shrunk up there, look at his salt and pepper beard. I don't know how I feel necessarily about this toupee looking deal right here. But um, nonetheless, still is an extremely cool character. And look how this looks, where this has already come out from his arms off. This vibranium cannon. Let's head this way. And then... So, or... So that's really cool. And of course he just has, just matches like slacks on everything because he's dressed up. And so that looks absolutely outstanding, doesn't it? Look at that. Absolutely wonderful, absolutely outstanding. Cool, let's put him with our Black Panther figures. Let's see what else we have here. We have, um, this is uh, Okoye, right? Because this is Nakia. So let's get this Okoye. And it's Okoye. They have this big long spear. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And the Sequoia, it looks absolutely wonderful. Look at that. She's even got that really awesome like tattoo or pattern that's on her head. She looks amazing. Look at this beautiful paint job. Look at these awesome, uh, you know, her uh, uniform that really stands out. This really pops. And look at that, her boots, everything. The skirt. This looks amazing. This, and the figure looks so great. Look at the eyes, look at the lips. This is an awesome looking figure, the Dor Milaje. And look at that. Just such great articulation. Beautiful artwork, beautiful paint. And let's look at this Nakia. Look at this. So this Nakia, she comes with these. Check this out. You can remember these, because they were super cool. Put them right there. And this is what she fought with. These awesome rings, these battle rings. And then. So look at her hair. She definitely looks super awesome. Look at that. The beautiful artwork as far as the paint application on this figure. Just the detail on it is just so great. And I love these accessories. Look at that. It's like, yeah, she's ready for it. Let's go. Let's go to war. Let's find Eric Killmonger, right? Look at that. To find Eric Killmonger. He's right over her. And look how great Eric Killmonger looks. He's creeping. He's got these claws again. He's like Jaguar or whatever hands. The leopard. I forgot which one he's supposed to be. And so it looks absolutely awesome. So that's what his little pattern supposed to be in case you didn't know. So look at this. If I take this off, look that definitely looks like I'm Michael B. Jordan. Boom. I love the necklace, and this figure is just so great. Look at this gold. Look at that. We have him creeping around here like a, like the Black Panther he is. Look at that. Even though he's got the Jaguar type um, or leopard. I, I'm sorry, I forgot which, but pattern. So anyway, but definitely awesome. Look at that. This looks so great. Just super, super, super great. Look at that. Awesome. Set him aside. It's our Eric Killmonger. And wow, let's take a look at this. Um, so this is Ronan, but from Captain Marvel. That's why he's green and black and blue because he is um, one of the Kree. And this was uh, in the early years when it's in the 90s. And just looks so outstanding. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? And so he can't really move around too much because this restricts his movement. And this is attached to this, so it's one big piece, like a headdress with shoulders, look at that. Interesting, right? And I'm surprised that there's not more paint detail all the way back, because for Diamond Select Mini Mates, they usually do a good job of painting the whole thing, like when we saw earlier, when you take the, the top off and you're able to still see on the shirt detail. Well, not on this one, 
But look at this really awesome sculpt for this. His, his staff, hammer, sledge looking deal. Looks awesome. Ronin the Accuser. It's absolutely wonderful. Look at that. Looks great. Put him with our Captain Marvel character. And let's see what else we have here. Oh my gosh, look. We have Star Lord. Now, what's interesting is, first of all, the accessories for the Star Lord is amazing. Except he did not come with a helmet. I wanted him to come with an interchangeable helmet. Otherwise, everything about he's almost perfect. So look at the sculpts on these weapons. Look at these guns. Look wonderful. He's got two of them. He's even got this smirk going on. He looks overconfident. Got this great hair piece right here. The color for his like Ravager outfit looks great. Just everything. The paint job. The pants. Look at that. The boots. Everything. It's like, you know, everybody chill out. Um, I'm going to ask you this one time. Where's Gamora? Yeah, I'll do you one better. Who's Gamora? So, absolutely great. And the hair, they just did so amazing. They did Star-Lord justice. My only complaint is that he did not have a helmet so he could put on there. Because that would make this perfect, perfect Star-Lord. And I believe he's from the Infinity War series. So he looks absolutely great. We'll set him aside. And let's see what we got next. Alright, man, we still have quite a few. We have time to do them all. Alright, so let's see. We have is this Jan Rog. And he is obviously from um, uh, Captain Marvel. He's got this thing that you can try and punch you with. So that's really cool. And you know, there's all these Star Force weapons that we have here. Like, for example, this. We also have this Jan Rog gun. Look at that. So, um, and this. Uh, I wonder if this one, I can't remember, this one comes out, it does, look at that, so that's awesome, and this hand, I believe this whole hand comes up, and we swap it out with one that can hold the gun, but it's just so amazing, and then his head, uh, look at him with his yellow eyes, the helmet comes off, and we can put hair on there, this is just an amazing figure, look at that, with a beautiful, oh, look his foot's coming off, beautiful paint job, We've got the awesome Star Force colors, awesome Star Force paint, and so look at that. He's gonna hit her with it. Look at that. That looks absolutely outstanding. I'll set him aside right here. We'll put these over here. Let's see who else we got here. We have uh, who's this? Bron Char and Korath. I forgot who comes with what weapons, but that's not really important. We'll just have one hold one and one hold the other. So look at that, Korath, looks awesome. We got his Star Force outfit on. It looks like uh, we can put a gun for him right there. They all have like for a gun. So, but we need that little green one. Look at this. I don't remember if he's the one that comes with two swords, but I think he might. Look how cool that looks. We can still put a gun there. This awesome detail on his uniform, on his face, look at that. So I like in um, the first Guardians of the Galaxy where Drax kills him and says, finger to the throat means death. <laughs> <laughs> so that's awesome. He looks absolutely outstanding. We'll, we'll take this off for now. I'll put him over here with our Captain Marvel figures. And let's see who else we have here. Oh, I forgot. We have this, the, I almost called him the wrong person, the Grand Master. And look how awesome. Definitely looks like Jeff Goldblum. Look at this face detail. Definitely looks like Jeff Goldblum. Look at that facial expression. Look at his silver gray hair. That looks awesome. Look at this makeup he's got going on here. This beautiful artwork right here for his outfit. This beautiful gold. This beautiful little like wrist bracelet deals. Look at that. He's even wearing sandals. His gold sandals. His pants. This looks so outstanding. I don't remember if he has any sort of um, accessory. I don't remember. I'm not seeing one off the top of my, uh, you know, right off the bat, but nonetheless, looks absolutely outstanding. Look at that. From Thor Ragnarok as well. 
Ooh, vision. Look at this vision. This is from Civil War when he's in hiding in this suit. So obviously this suit is very similar to this one worn by Nick Fury, you'll notice. Um, unfortunately, we don't have anything else so that it can be like a full-blown vision. But um, this is a special edition, I think San Diego Comic-Con edition of uh, Vision. Oh, where's his other foot? Just notice that right now. It's probably this one. Let's pop that on. And there we go. This comes with a little tie. This goes right on the neck. Look at that. But what a great head sculpt. Look at that. And let's show you Scarlet Witch, of course. And look how great she looks. We definitely needed her. There is a two-pack of them, too. She's got her spell casting hands and you can swap them out to have regular hands, but these are way better And this is what she looked like when she almost killed Thanos remember She's like you took everything from me I don't even know who you are We can turn her wrist in like that because that's when she was like Lifting him up and he was like whoa 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 Fire on her own people right so look how great he look uh, she, she looks Beautiful colors just pop off, and look at the sculpt for her like skirt going on here. Jacket, I'm sorry, it's a big jacket, but look how awesome she looks! Looks absolutely great. Put her right here next to Vision. Let's see who else we got here. Man, we haven't even looked at our Iron Man figures, so hmm, I'll take a look at that in just a moment. Those are definitely ones I can't wait to jump on. And so, oh, this was. Probably this is I think Bron Char. He's got his Star Force gun that you can put right there. And look at that. They made him a little puffier because he's a bigger guy. But they really only put the top. They didn't do anything really for the arms or for the legs or whatever. So he just looks like a really big puffy chest dude. Look at that. But nonetheless, it's cool to have this variation right here. So that's awesome. Diamond Select Toys. And the feet is really what's the loosest thing. But he looks awesome. So, um, let's see. Let's go over to, so that's a nanotech. Let's get, of course, this nanotech Iron Man, which is absolutely one of my favorite figures. Look at this. This is the Mark 50. Let's take that off. And the helmet comes off, and then we can put the hair on. The hair's in the box, so. Um, look how great that looks. Oh, man. Some of this red has rubbed off of the helmet from the helmet being or maybe it's scratching his face off it's doing one or the other unfortunately look at that but it definitely looks like Robert Downey Jr. man we're probably gonna have to get another one of these so that we can have one with the helmet one without the helmet because the helmet's super tight and it's probably just scratching him up look at that well it definitely looks like it's battle damage so look at this great um this great colors for this mark 50 looks absolutely wonderful he doesn't have any accessories beyond this and then that little post so he can fly on. But um, look at this beautiful artwork. I wish he had some more stuff because just all the things that he, uh, all the things that he could do in Infinity War was amazing with his 50 outfit. And then this just comes off super easy. So the way those other pieces came off and blasted that, or that he would extend his arm and make blades and weapons and punch stuff. So. That would be really outstanding. But this beautiful looking uh, Iron Man Mark 50. Now let's look at the 85. The 85 looks so wonderful. How do I know it's the 85? Of course, because it came in the box. It said Mark 85. But look at the shoulders. That's one dead giveaway. And then um, look at the repulsor. And look at all the detail up in here. So this is our 85 and it looks absolutely wonderful. And look at this. Similar, I, let me see, I don't, I don't remember if it's the exact same. Slightly different, I don't know if it's just because it's thicker paint application there, but it's absolutely wonderful. So let's do a side-by-side -side compar comparison of these two Iron Man figures. Oop, and here's his foot, keeps popping off. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. And this one has this puffy part right here, which that would be cool for this one too. Surprised they don't have it, but anyway, those are two Iron Man figures that we have there. And so here is our Avengers Assemble Captain Marvel. She looks great. And you know what? Maybe that piece we gave right here for this Captain Marvel 
I believe, you know what? They both probably came on this one. So this is for the animated series. And it looks super cool. Look at that. Look at the hair. Look at her like outfit and sash. The colors are beautiful. And look, cartoon version versus um, MCU movie version. Awesome. Look at that. Absolutely outstanding. Let's turn the foot back in, uh, out, come in. And let's keep rolling. Let's see who else we got here. Oh, we haven't even done any of the doors. Okay, so we'll do Proxima Midnight next after we do this door. So this is Infinity War door. And the unfortunate part is that um, this leg was just unbelievably loose. Look at that, we're gonna have to adjust that. And he came with zero accessories. What a letdown, not even a cape. So he did not come with this. This is for our uh, end game Thor. But this is what he ended up having. I don't know what happening is, but that's what he ended up having. And then a cape. But um, wouldn't that be awesome? We put that cape on there and then give him um, Stormbreaker. But nonetheless, he does not come with any access. This is all it. And then on top of that, look how loose the leg is. So this Thor, the basic figure is awesome, but with no accessories, that was a big letdown. But obviously they didn't want to give it away. So look, let's set him aside. He didn't come with anything. But look, this is our Avengers Endgame Thor. We have him with Stormbreaker here. And so the cool thing about this figure, look how he's got two different color eyes, isn't that awesome? This beautiful paint job. Now the awesome thing is, I was showing you a little while ago, this one, we could swap the heads out and make this Captain America. We're just sw swatching, uh, swapping that out and then having the hair. So that looks awesome, doesn't it? That's where we're able to do that. And then, uh, let's see. Whose foot's missing there? T'Challa. So this is the standard Black Panther. He looks awesome. Of course, his foot pops off. And so it's not the charged suit. The head, the helmet pops off. Look. It's a really awesome paint job there. And look how great this looks. Look at his claws, look at this awesome, the necklace he has there for his nanotech for the um, vibranium suit. And that looks absolutely outstanding. Look how beautiful this looks. And we can compare this to the charge suit. Look at that. They definitely both look awesome. We'll set that aside. We're gonna pick up the uh, pace just a little bit so we can make sure we get through to all of them. Um, look at this amazing tactical suit, Eric Killmonger, if I'm not mistaken, he came with a mask also, and it looked pretty wicked, but I liked him much better with him, just his really cool hair, and this outfit, and this really cool weapon, just looks so great, look at his camo pants, look awesome, looks so great, look at that, looks absolutely wonderful, okay. We'll set him aside and look at this right here and so I'm like this is agent Everett Ross I believe and so once again we have this pretty standard like um, Marvel mini mates um, I'm sorry yeah diamond select toys mini mates suits notice how it's basically the same mold just a slightly different shade um, Everett Ross was actually a really cool character Black Panther was super awesome and one of my favorite scenes was and M'Baku basically said they were going to eat him. <laughs> and he was all scared. <laughs> so that's awesome. Look at that. So it's absolutely great. And you know, he's one of the ones I believe we're supposed to give a gun to. Look at that. So that looks awesome. And here we have Nick Fury. He's supposed to have a gun. So we'll give him a gun. See? Look, there we go. And he looks awesome. So many snakes on this plane. And then, let's see. We have, um, ooh, where's his gun? Did I give out too many guns? <laughs> so we have Agent Phil Coulson. He looks absolutely outstanding. Look at that cool tie. And so he's got his little gun holster right here. He looks super cool. And I think we can swap him out for a suit too. And these are kind of like the sleeves that we have for um, Nick Fury that we can switch out, but look, he looks just so great. Look at that. Looks absolutely outstanding. What a great figure. And then just to show you, we swap this arm out and like one of these, and that's how you get to have them with a 
shirt looking like that. So I took off his suit because I think he had a suit and this. Because I didn't want them both wearing suits. It looks cool like this. So we'll set that, those two guys aside. And who's missing a foot? What's going on here? Who's missing a foot? Hmm. Oh, there we are, Hella. So Hella, I think, came with more than one like, head sculpt, but um, look how cool this looks. This comes, does it come off or is it glued? And then we just change the head up. Okay, it does come off of it. So look at her crown. That looks amazing. It's super awesome. And look at the beautiful paint job they did on her outfit. Looks so great, look at that. And her cape, she looks awesome. Turn there. Remember when she was holding up Mjolnir until she just shattered it? She was like, honey, you have no idea what's possible. <laughs> so that looks outstanding, right? These ones from Thor Ragnarok are amazing if you can't tell. So this is uh, the Executioner. Uh, I was trying to remember his name. I know him as the Executioner. It'll come to me. Um, uh, I don't remember his name off the top of my head. I think I'm running to my tongue. But um, Scourge. Mm, Scourge. Scourge. Okay, so there we are. So look how cool he looks. He looks just like the movie. Look at that. He's got that kind of like Legions of Doom haircut. Did he come with an axe or not? I thought he did. I guess not. So that would be disappointing if he didn't. And that was it. He could at least come with, it, come with guns or it's like... I got these from a place called Texas. And he's talking about Texas. Look, some of the paint came off just from me bending the knee, unfortunately. So, but he looks really cool. Look at that. Awesome. We'll set him aside. And look at this cartoon comic book, uh, Avengers Assemble, Thanos. He de definitely doesn't look as intimidating as the other Thanos is. But you know what? Let's take that off. Let's see what he looks like with a real helmet. Boom. That looks a lot more intimidating. Look at that. It's so aggressive. As opposed to this simple little hat, uh, helmet. But nonetheless, he definitely has this, like in the comic books for the animated series. Um, there's not a whole lot to him. He's kind of just simple on here. But still, Avengers Assemble Thanos. Looks cool. Set him aside. I'll put our helmet back on this Thanos. Look at that. Wicked. Well, look how this helmet looks on Thanos when he took his armor off. This is when he took his armor off. And oh, look, it doesn't have a, a hole for, to fit the peg. So that's unfortunate. We'd have to swap the whole head. But look at this um, Infinity War Thanos. Now, when they are big and puffy like this, there's a lot of times where it's loose right here in the waist. So they'll just you turn it and pops off, turn it, pops off, but nonetheless, look at the great detail and paint on this figure. And look at this awesome infinity gauntlet, the time stones over here. And just looks absolutely outstanding with this beautiful paint job. Man, he's really angry. Just looks so outstanding, doesn't he? This is from the Infinity War sets. Oop, there we go. Look at that. There we go. It's like Oh, oh. So that looks so awesome. All right, you still counting? So seeing if you're right, we're almost at the end. So here's Proxima Midnight. Proxima Midnight looks awesome. Look at this beautiful head sculpt. Cause it's all one piece, so you can't pull the hair out. This beautiful paint job. Look at this awesome detail on this sculpt for her her staff, right? That looks so outstanding. Just looks unreal. This is one of my favorite figures. Look at this beautiful paint job. Looks just like the movie. Look at that armor. Just so wonderful. They did a beautiful job with this figure. Beautiful. This is one of my favorites of all the mini mates. Just look at that. Her, her crown right there. This looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. So, Black Order, right? Cool. So let's see this Professor Hulk. Professor Hulk from, of course, Avengers Endgame. Looks awesome. He's wearing this gray and pink purple type suit. And then he's about to like snap everybody back, right? 
But um, unfortunately, he didn't come with a star common, I don't think. But, ooh, that's right. But how awesome that would be if it did, right? But I guess technically we could, uh, we could get, where is that, um, I guess we could technically get this. And we have two of these, so maybe we can just paint it red. And then we can swap it out for his arm over here. So I guess that's something we can do. So look how great this looks. All right, so we're almost at the end. This Red Hulk. This is Red Hulk from the comics, uh, from the cartoon. And looks awesome. I think it used to be General Ross, if I'm not mistaken, experimenting on himself. And wow, look how cool it looks. Compare this to our movie Hulk. So, yeah, super cool. If you notice, Minnie Mates only had three fingers and a thumb whenever they have hands. So remember that, whenever they have hands. So this Hulk is super cool. I'm gonna zip past just these last ones. But look at this incredible war machine. Oops, I'm sorry, I keep hitting the camera. This beautiful war machine, look at that. This just attaches there, take that. It's kind of like Don Cheadle. Notice how I said kind of. It's this beautiful war machine, look at that. Rhodey. This wonderful action figure. It's absolutely wonderful. This beautiful paint job. Beautiful, look at this. This gun right here, this weapon. Man, just looks so outstanding. I love this character right here. Let's set him set over here. Now let's look at this rocket. He's like, how much for the arm? I'll get that arm. So he's got just, these legs don't bend, they just move at the hips, and they of course they move in and out. That's what makes him a little shorter. But it's super awesome character, look at that. And I don't remember if he came with a gun or not. I don't remember. But doesn't he look awesome? Looks so great. Look at the detail on his suit. Just looks, and you know what? Oh no, I thought I had it here, but I don't. But he looks so great. It's a beautiful looking character. And look how his tail attaches right there. So that's awesome. Okay, look at this Spider Gwen, Spider Woman, uh, whatever, and Ghost Spider. She looks awesome. Look at that, look at her, her shoes. She's another one we can use this with. Right? That look awesome. So, yeah buddy, look at that. She looks absolutely outstanding. We can just pull this off like that for her hoodie. So that looks awesome. Beautiful colors that pop off too. So we can put that there or we can put that here. Which is awesome. And look at this awesome Miles Morales. We can put them both together. So that looks absolutely great. Let's see how many figures we're at now. So the Jackal, I'm just gonna kind of speed through, I keep saying that, but <laughs> here's the Jackal. He looks pretty cool. Um, look how he's got these backwards legs, like an animal, of course, like a beast. And that's different, because that's not something we're used to seeing on Mini Mates, so they definitely had to sculpt that. Um, look at this, it's cool. So his head doesn't really move because it's part of the the, the whole top, his ears are a little softer than the other ones, but they still um, could potentially break. But look at that. And look how this is right here, so he's got claws too. Very different claws than Black Panther, but still looks cool. All right, so we have another uh, cartoon wolf, uh, vulture, is what I meant to say. Cartoon vulture, and um, from Avengers Assemble is what I was gonna say also. But doesn't this look really cool? Definitely looks like the cartoon. He's got these wings. Definitely look awesome. That'd be cool if this was a huge one like in the movie from um, Homecoming. But it's not. Spider-Man Homecoming, that would be really awesome. Look at these awesome talons that are right here for his feet. And yeah, look at that. Just looks so awesome. So awesome. All right, so I'll set them aside. And we have the Casino T'Challa. That looks outstanding. He's got this suit that comes off right there and he just has a fancy shirt. But he looks really awesome. That hair, swap it out. Put Black Panther head on, helmet on that. Looks really awesome. Okay, set that aside. And look at this Ant-Man. Avengers Assemble Ant-Man, looks cool. Um, he looks obviously like the cartoon. Red eyes for some reason. And then, yeah, look, it's awesome. So he looks really cool. 
great color scheme, great helmet articulation, looks, uh, I'm sorry, great helmet detail, and of course the great articulation of these mini mitts, it looks absolutely outstanding. Okay, we have, I think this is Dark Avengers Thor. Anyway, this is definitely, um, you know, animated as opposed to the MCU. Oops, didn't mean to pop his lower half off, I was just trying to straighten his legs a little bit. There we go, I'm going to support it. And he looks awesome for that. And maybe, maybe he's the one that's supposed to have the hammer. And yeah, nonetheless. Um, yeah, because it definitely looks like this is supposed to be a cartoon hammer. So there's that. The store looks, I like the, his, the paint they did on his face. And obviously, look, he definitely looks more like an animated Thor than the other ones. So, because look at the detail on the store's face. So that's how you can tell. Look at all that detail compared to that. So, that looks cool. And then, last thing is Hyperion. And look how cool he looks. And he gets another one of these swooshes deals. And you can swatch. There's three different kinds, apparently. There's this one. There's a double one. You can put both feet on there. This one's single. And then there's this. So you could definitely do this. So isn't that awesome? Looks super cool. Look at this awesome cape. Look at the beautiful colors on this. It just looks so outstanding. So guys, that was so much fun. Let's zoom out and let's see how many figures we actually have here. Look at this. And then, I don't remember if this was, whose this was. If this is like Nakia's or anyway, whatever. So look at our figures. There's tons. Did you guess the right amount? Do you know how many there are? Look, we reviewed all those. We took a look at every single one of them. So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can notify every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. Tell us what you like about this video. You want to see more mini mates? I would, because I love these figures. And we'll be talking with you soon, guys. Thanks again for watching Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G.